Uh, hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in the first video i release on the spectral analysis of aeromagnetic data for geothermal energy potential the first part actually it was a mistake it was an oversight one of my viewers here you can see point out some some mistakes say i thank you so much for these videos i'm not sure about the heat flow values that you obtain after gray i suggest check unit again a heat flow values this is in particular impossible so the values normally is supposed to be between 30 to 200 milliwatt per meter square so when i cross check i realized that it was it was actually a mistake so i have to make an update to that video so actually this was a presentation i made so she does discard this this spectral analysis result and also all the remaining blocks this is supposed to be 25 not 16 actually so don't discard this table this one is just to show you that we are going to see we are going to do it uh, 25 all the 25 blocks from scratch so let me show you these 25 blocks in oils montage so these are the blocks I divided into 25 so i just take one as a sample then after which after i do the spectral analysis i export the data to excel this is the excel and this is the result from the spectral analysis from ios montage for that block one then from there we get this value scaling of pk and the rest then from this value we plot for the block 1a we get the dip to the top of the sources the dip to the centroid and so therefore the dip to the bottom which is two times the zip the depth to the centroid minus the depth to the top so the geothermal gradient is this you can see the heat flow falls between 200 to 500 so this is okay so i'm sorry for the for the oversight and the mistakes and also for your understanding so thank you and then see in another video one more thing also this is the block the block one it is a latitude longitude and this is the heat flow to geothermal gradient and that of uh, the depth to the base of the magnetic sources so that's all for the video thank you 